Hello and welcome to Americans Learn. My name is Lauren and today I'm looking at another Diana Unkundinova song. This one is Denere Danza uh, at the Kremlin Palace. This video was five years ago, so she's going to be young in this video. Um, lots of people have been suggesting more and more stuff from her uh, repertoire. Um, I did do film a reaction to Wicked Game but it did get blocked. Um, so I, I've been told that I have to use stuff solely from her channel. Otherwise that wouldn't happen. I'm seeing what I can do. Uh, so this one is from her channel. Hopefully it will not be blocked. That is my, that is my hope. That is all I'm hoping for. You know, I'm not expecting to be able to like monetize any of these. Honestly, I'm really, really not. Um, like regardless of how many screens I put over it or whatever. Um, I'm really not, that's not, that's not the goal here. The goal is to enjoy a very, very talented artist. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, this video will go up though, because of that for members early, um, for the Chicago dog branch of the member tree there. Uh, we'll get this video up a little bit early for you. Um, but yeah, here I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I really, really enjoyed the last thing I reacted to and the one that hopefully will be able to go up eventually. Oh. Добрый вечер. Я хотел бы сказать спасибо огромное за внимание к нашему проекту. Ну, а на самом деле я должен представить человека, который выйдет на эту сцену. Oh, before, before I get well into this, I do want to give a big shout out to Craig Otto, who sent me a email that like detailed a whole lot of stuff about her like her history and he gave me a lot of different videos and stuff to look at and watch some of it is for background stuff some of it i will try to post as well but anyway big shout out to him thank you so much craig Otto, for sending me that email and giving me all that backstory что эта девочка с очень непростой судьбой но мне кажется что все осталось в прошлом потому что проект ты супер так уж получилось разделил ее жизнь на до и после и теперь uh, у этой замечательной артистки, у этой потрясающей звезды, я бы даже так сказал, совсем другая жизнь. У нее есть любящая семья, исполнилась ее мечта, она хотела жить и учиться в Москве. Она oh, будет учиться в Москве, что самое главное, жить в своей собственной квартире, потому что вот буквально uh, мы решили все формальности, и теперь ключи в ее руках от квартиры в Москве. Спасибо огромное всем, кто поучаствовал в этом Спасибо фонду Игорю, Игоря Крутого. И поэтому о ней можно много говорить, но лучше один раз услышать. Замечательная певица, собравшая миллионы-миллионы просмотров в интернете. У нее масса фанатов. Встречайте на этой сцене Диана Анкудинова. Диана Анкудинова. Trying to remember, trying to get that name right, so I always get it right. Last dance, Daniara Das. Unexpected twist.
Really interesting. Bravo! Ты потрясающий, голос у тебя необыкновенный, и ты достойна дебюта на этой прославленной сцене. Ваши аплодисменты, друзья. That was not at all what I was expecting, and I mean I say that a lot when it comes to a lot of these uh, the singers, but like in this particular case, what I mean is that like the music itself, it didn't feel like it. It was not tuned in in the exact in the way I would have expected it to be into the actual words and feeling of the song. Like her performance and her um, her vocals definitely matched the lyrics. Um, but the I was just like I was like I'm like a bouncing. I'm like the the song itself is bouncing. And I'm like and then I'm like looking at the lyrics and I'm like the pain at her, certain points in her voice where she's like feeling lost and it's just or, like not her but the singer you know the the character of the song feeling like lost and then I'm just like I should not be vibing right now but this song is like duns 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 dun. it's like it's like it's boppy and I'm like ooh I need to stop bopping and then also the have the beginning be just like this sort of ethereal eerie sort of um swoopy sound and then like to like ground it so immediately because she keeps this one very very grounded it kind of gave me somebody I used to know vibes which I which is weird which is different Also, like the the whole song too feels like it's like this character is like I feel lost and alone. Like like without you, it's like doesn't matter what I do, but like without you here, I'm still alone. But it's like and it like seeing this image on stage where she is just so small, like look how tiny and like it just it feels it feels like that fits the song too. Like just her alone here and then. She starts singing and her personality very much shines through. I love the little, like, the gasp she did, the little aside to side of their eyes that she does later, a little bit early in the song. I like the performance aspects that she takes in this particular performance. I like how she acts it out, essentially, is what I mean to say. But see, like, this whole buildup just seems very like it the the buildup of this does feel 
very similar to like what a lot of the lyrics are, not the chorus necessarily, but the verses are saying in the song. Um, and again, there might there's probably some translation differences between French and English. I would not have expected this to get bouncy. This is so cool and ethereal. And then it just like um, like shifts on a dime. But see, this is also another, I think, a reason why I was like, oh, somebody I used to know. It's like, so it's like, now when then I knew what time was done, da, da, dum. like that. Like, that's kind of what I expected to happen. But no, she just keeps it. I <laughs> see, that's fun. Now she's despondent and sad. And then, but then she like puts this like, Pain, like she sounds like she's about to cry. Uh, it's very talented. I'm just like, oh. Okay, so it does feel it's like, oh, there you are, sweet sufferance, found you. It's like, without him, I'm gone. I'm nothing. I'm just alone walking the metro. See the little, like, like, want to run away. Like, she's doing this little, like, eye, like, darting back and forth. Like, that's... I like that. It's a fun little touch. Also, I will say also like this first rendition of the dance, dance, dance part is very subdued because um, like the song itself is kind of still subdued at this point, even if it's starting to get really bouncy. And I like how it builds and she gets more and more like she builds and builds and builds every single time the dance part comes up. <laughs> I don't know how old she was. She said this was video was like five years ago. I'm not sure how old she actually was during this time, but like her voice has just such like a maturity to it. And it might just be because it's so deep. Um, at least she can get those low sort of deep resonant tones, which are very hard to get. They're very, very tricky. And someone was like saying that she's a contralto, which is a very low which means you can hit those really really low notes but she can also cut those those high guys and like she's got a very rare voice type and she's got a very unique sound that i can't get enough of <laughs> See, this is the part where I really can't help but start to bounce. And she's like, and the, but part of that is like, she's much, she's getting bigger. Like the, the song itself, like she's getting louder. Like it's getting more and more intense and she's delving into like this, the character of the song. I keep saying she, it's like, I don't want to ascribe various emotions to her. I am very much talking about the character that she's uh, singing um, right now, but like, feels like they're coming into their own a little bit. It's just like it's gorgeous and like again the resonance that she manages with her tone and like she is keeping it she's not going all over the place i know she has the skill to like 
do these incredibly, incredibly high notes and these incredibly, incredibly low notes. But I kind of like how this song kind of stays in a very like small range, but she is doing something so unique with it that it feels like it's going all over the place. It feels like it's this massive big song because she's doing something so different. And I think that's really cool because even it's just kind of staying right here. It's not it. Like, there's no crazy, crazy notes that she's doing in this song, but her tone is so unique, it makes it feel like it's something totally, totally different. And then she smiled, and I cannot help but smile back when she smiles. When she is doing this face, when she is doing that, I'm smiling. Like, she looks so enthusiastic and hopeful and, like, full of light. And I'm like, I'm gonna smile at that face. Like the big belt. See, and then this is the part that was like, I was like, oh, oh, that was the, this is the part where she like kind of really, really pushes into the like, this is the thing that makes me incredibly, incredibly unique. And then it, she does this sort of, it's almost guttural. Um, like, it's, is it, it's similar? Is it? Is it similar to like throat singing, like Tibetan throat singing? It almost feels like that is it's a similarity I'm catching across, but I'm I don't know a lot about throat singing, honestly, but it almost feels like that. <laughs> and now I want to cry again, like. Like, it gets sad again at the end. Like, this, again, the lyrics itself, I've always been kind of sad. But, like, now I'm just like, she just puts this, I want to cry again now. She ends it, like, with this, again, this sort of desolate, um, like, empty wind almost. And it's just like, oh, but now I want to hug you. She's now, she's like, for a second, things almost seemed hopeful and great. And then it's just like, oh. Just we're lowering lowering ourselves. It's sad. Janeri Dancer. Diana Ankuldinova. Ankuldinova. No. I said it right the first time. The first first time. Diana Ankuldinova. There. I think that's correct. Ankuldinova. Ankuldinova. Diana Ankuldinova. 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 Ah, I'll get it. I'll keep practicing saying her name. Um, it looks like she does perform this song quite a lot. Um, I'm curious now. It's like, I would like to hear another version of this song, but like, I feel like this is a really good version of this song. So thank you again for, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This is a, a little bit shorter, I think, than... No, it's not. I lied. I was like, this is shorter. It's still 20 minutes. <laughs> it's like, whenever I do these videos, it's like the video itself is like less than 10 minutes long. It's like four to seven minutes long usually. And then I just talk for like an hour. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. If there's something specific you want me to look at from her, from another artist, go ahead and let me know. Like I said, I did have another video that I filmed earlier um, that got blocked. So I'm working on that. If it's If I can't get it out, I'll put it up on Patreon. Um, and that's going to be the best I can do. Um, hopefully this one doesn't get blocked. Like I said, I'm not so worried about the monetization aspect of it. I just want it to be able to get posted. So thanks again for watching. Um, and I'll see you all in the next one.